Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, today, guys, I'm going to show you a cool tip with the Samsung Galaxy S10, and that's how to connect phones to Wi Fi without knowing the password, or basically to use your Samsung Galaxy S10 as a cool tool to add various devices. Alright, first of all, this is my Samsung Galaxy S10, and as you can see here, guys, um, it is the S10 Plus. So um, the new tip is involved with the latest update for June 1st. So just go ahead if you're not already on that update and simply go into settings, simply swipe down. Then of course, make sure you're connected to the internet. So let me check that out. And of course, once you're connected to the internet, go to software update. Once you're in software update, go ahead and hit download and install. And of course, it will check for updates. And of course, maybe in some cases, it will already have downloaded the update, but it doesn't hurt to check. So that's allow it to check for the latest update. All right, as you can see here, I'm on the June 1st, 2019. So it will be for this update or higher. And once you're on that update, guys, a new feature that you'll have is the new QR code scanner. And it does integrate additional QR code features. For example, if you check out right here, there will be this new built-in option right here. And I'll show you what it is. It says your QR code scanner and gives you a dedicated QR code scanner for you to scan whatever you want. But also, to add anybody to your Wi-Fi, first of all, you'll need to be already connected to the Wi-Fi on your smartphone. It can be your own Wi-Fi. Next, let's say somebody wants you to give them access to the house Wi-Fi. And of course, you can remember the password each time. The Samsung Galaxy updated feature allows you now to do this. So simply just go ahead and um, while you're in the Wi-Fi section, just simply go ahead right here and hold and press and of course once you do that you'll be taken to the main Wi-Fi screen all right uh, next just go ahead and tap Wi-Fi connection there and as you see there guys it does give you and as you can see guys it does give you this um, scannable QR code before this was not a feature it has just been added and that QR code is going to give you access to the internet so let me just show you how it works simply just take the QR code scanner if it's another Samsung Galaxy S10, great. If it's not another Samsung Galaxy S10, all I advise you to do is just download a QR code scanner from anywhere like Google Play and have it on hand. All right, so once you have the phone ready, um, just go ahead and pop out your QR code scanner. So let's say it's another Samsung Galaxy. I'm going to use this QR code scanner right here, the one that's built in. I'm going to tap. And of course, I do not have a second Samsung Galaxy S10 on hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the code over to a secondary phone all right now that we are over on the second phone i simply just took a screenshot but it should work same way so as we're gonna go here guys let's check this out i'm gonna use the qr code scanner and there you go it does scan of course it says tap here to connect to wi-fi network if i were to tap it would then take me here and of course i'm already connected to it on this device but you notice all it did all ago was just to add the information but i'm already connected and that should be it so instantly i'll be connected to the wi-fi network and it was be effortless and it takes a few seconds all right guys it's a cool way to add almost any gadgets as long as you can download a qr code scanner on that device so if you have another android device or even apple device you can simply just get a qr code scanner and simply scan your way to wi-fi access and even if you forget the password guys this will still work all right guys we're gonna go from blocking tips so that's the quick tips showing you how to deal with using your um, Samsung Galaxy S10 to connect other devices as long as they have a QR code scanner to your Wi-Fi without remembering the password. It's Ricardo Gardner, same bye. Until next time, bye.